Social policies are concerned with deliberate attempts by a government to manage or solve perceived societal problems. Many social policies are influenced by economics and attempts to resolve social problems that have an economic root. For example, social welfare policies attempt to deal with unemployment or poor housing or lack of access to healthcare. Another example of social policy concerns religious groups. Religion poses a problem for authoritarian states because religions provide their members with an alternative set of loyalties, some of which may conflict with that of the state. Social policies may attempt to neutralize the importance of religious groups or co-opt them by providing them with a privileged position in the state. One of the most important social policies for any modern state concerns education of the young. Improving general access to education, raising literacy rates, were very common social policies for authoritarian states, both left and right wing, throughout the 20th century. Education provides the state with two important forms of social control in the schools through the curriculum, both academic and hidden, and outside of the school through extracurricular ac activities and organizations like the, like the Hitler Youth or the Young Pioneers in the uh, Soviet Union. Policies that concern the lives of women are also another good example of how ideology influences the approach of different authoritarian states. Left-wing political theory has long had a feminist dimension that explains women's subordination as an inevitable characteristic of capitalism. The domestic reproductive labour of women as mothers and housekeepers is seen as an essential but both unrecognised and unpaid means of keeping uh, production costs down. As such, the question of female emancipation was very much tied up to the proposed socialist reorganization of the economy. And I didn't want to just draw up plans. I wanted to build an electric power station. That was my mission, and I achieved it. The revolution gave me the right to feel equal to any man. It gave me the right to work, to study what I wanted to study. In contrast, right-wing authoritarianism sets out to resist the progress that women have made in the 20th century. They hark back to a dominant 19th century view that society was naturally composed of separate spheres. A domestic or private sphere for women and a public social sphere for men. For fascists and Nazis alike, a woman's place is very much in the home.